Lance Captain Admiral Atoms, you're required on the bridge at once. There's been a whoopsie. Hey, that's the famous space astronaut, Captain Maxwell Adams. He's just one mission away from retirement. After the events that unfolded on Klaxion Delta, where Max had to make the soul-destroying decision between the unimaginable and the unthinkable, High Command made the decision that his time was up and assigned him to this prison transport ship, the SS Ursine, as a final send-off. They believed he was past his prime and a long way from his gunslinging, blaster-tossing, plasma-hurling younger self. But I expose to you, Trevor, if push comes to shove and they teamed up into a stronger force of motion and wish to wage a battle against Max, well, even at his advanced age and with his traumatic past, I'd still bet on him because the bookies are only paying negatives. Hey Max, it's me, Theodore, and this is Paddington. Sorry to wake you from your afternoon nap. We've just been going over our whoopsie projections when we were interrupted by an unknown ship firing on us. And now it's become extremely important that we don't delay in considering the forecasts for our strategic blah blah blah. Blah 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 blah. Blah 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 So what do you think, Max? Do you agree with our whoopsie prevention plan? No bother! That was a big one! This is General Cuddles of the Bear Mother Alliance. Your ship holds imprisoned citizens loyal to our cause. And one loose unit. Rawr! Release those bears in space immediately or you will be destroyed. Ah! We haven't had enough time to implement and test our whoopsie prevention strategy! You have ten minutes to comply. Preheat the laser beams. We're a scientific prison ship! We have no weapons! We must jump to hyper-quickness! Pressing the button is usually my job, but I'm ever so scared! We are doomed! Rah! Rah! You woke up, sleepyhead. It's me, Bertana. But you can call me BT for short. Everyone else does. That dangerous hyperquickness jump we made plunged us deep into an unknown galaxy and it merged our DNA together. Pretty neat, huh? We can chat about that later if you really want. But for now, we gotta get out of here. The ship is real beat up. Let's take that emergency exit and make our way to the escape pod. First, if it was up to me, get in close and attack it in the back like a bear. Unsuspecting and defenseless. Yep, that's the bear code. Use the melee button to take it out, Maxie. 
Phew, that was a close one, Max. Let's make our way to the drop pods. Dang it, there's more of them. Here, take my gun. Now quickly shoot them in the back before they notice we're here. It was either us or them, Maxie. Glad you followed the bear code. No time to waste. Looks like we're gonna have to fight our way through to the drop pod. for a second, but I think we're in the clear now. Really, the nerve of those bots getting in our way. Hmm, should we try and rescue all those other bears in space, prison? Nope, you're right, Max. They would want us not to save them. Okay, let's get out of here. Max! Max! Wait for me! Oh, you're alive. There's no room. Bye! Let's roll! You should drive next time. All right, Maxie, take everything you think you know about bears and forget it. Max, let me tell you a little something about bears. Fact number 72, we don't take fall damage. Fact number 38, we can dash. Fact number 15, we can double jump. <laughs> Bear fact number 503. We can double jump and dash while in the air. Oh, 
look at that big building, Max. I reckon our way off this rock is gonna be that a way. Bear fact number five. Acid legs hurt you. Avoid that. If it isn't Maxwell Adams and Bear Tana, the man bear extraordinaire. Thanks for taking care of all the riffraff out front. And let me be the first to say, welcome to Zoltopia. Now I know what you're thinking. What's a handsome butt like me doing on a scrap hole mining planet like this? Well, let me tell you, I'm a bot of many talents. Most of those talents revolve around Vic Bucks. You see those crates over there? They're filled with Vic Bucks. Break them open as you come across them, then bring the riches inside to me, and I'll provide you with guns and ammo. But not just any lousy guns, no sorry, but upgradable guns. You know, guns that upgrade. I'm a little low on stock currently, still waiting for my shipment to come in. But for now, how about this scatter gun? It's on the house. <laughs> That was my favorite barrel! And don't forget, this baby upgrades the more you use it. So get out there and blast some bombs. Chill out, I've got your save covered. If you ever see me kicking it, you know you can take five. But dudes, don't worry. J-Save at Minte always has you covered. If you ever see that auto-saving icon on the bottom of the screen, you know your progress has been saved. Just remember to be gnarly and not turn off your game while it's saving. Otherwise, you could be in for a wipeout, dudes. And that'd be totally bogus. Chill out, dudes. Your game has been saved. Yes. speak. I swear I just heard someone speak. Quit your tomfoolery. Your time has come, bandit. Ah, oh, it was you. That makes sense. Max, be a doll and kill them, would ya? <laughs> you now have multiple weapons, Max. 
Hold the weapon select button to open the weapon wheel. Bears experience the flow of time at a tenth the speed a human does, so when you open the weapon wheel, I'll slow down time. You better believe that's bear fact number 21. <laughs> Thanks for clearing out those old tenants. What do you think of my new location? You know, this part of the planet used to be a pretty docile mining outpost until you two showed up. You've got them all riled up. So I say shoot first and don't ever ask questions. Oh, I agree. That's the bear code way, too. Yep, better for business that way. Now, I got most of my shipment in, but I'm still missing an auto phaser that looks an awful lot like the one you've got right there. Well, you better buy some ammo for it. You know, Max, I've been keeping a journal of our adventures so far. Our gun upgrade progress, items we've found, secrets we should find, boys I like, you know, that sort of stuff. Open it up and check it out. What? I'm on a recon mission for the Carborganites. Don't tell anyone.
like you've got the skills required for a little job I need to. You see those keys over there? Bring me the red one and I'll let you through. I do it myself, but as you can see, I'm a little busy right now. Gee whiz, Max, which key is it? They all look great. Let's see if this is the right one. This key is Jam. I asked for crap. This will take you for wasting my time. Now try again. And this time. Let's see if this is the right one. That's not a crap key. That, that's enough. Let's see if this is the right one. Order, you bring me what I asked for. But you've wasted me day. And this time, you're really done. Seriously? That is the last time we're dealing with colored keys. Astronomer nerd I've heard so little about. Yes, it is I, Dr. Astronomer, surveyor of the galaxies and windows everywhere. Yeah, cool. We're looking for a way back to Earth. Could you help us or nah? Hmm, yes. Such computations are well within my capacities. But unfortunately, I am without a stereoscope. Without one, my bifocal receptors are at a depleted reserve. Uh, enough point, Dexter. Just tell us where we need to go and who to kill. A group of hoodlums absconded with it. They went through that door. Do be quick. I feel lost without it. Max, shed 
shut up and let me talk for once. Is that honey I smell? That's the honey, Max! Power this door, you'll eventually make your way to a travel agent. I'm sure they can point you in the right direction. Never trust the tweet. Bad luck number one! Lucky day. You've seen me at three of my locations now. Didn't realize you were such a fan of old Vic. But hey, as long as you're spending, I'm vending. No, Maxwell. Now is not the time. Oh, uh, is that all you're gonna spend? You might want to spend a little more. Trust me, old Vic knows a thing or two about spending.
intuition is telling me that this will take us to the travel agent. Isn't that convenient? We'll catch that back to Earth! Coach Bot Bay. So, you want to join the Basket Cube League, huh? Great, you'll be a star. I'll give you a quick rundown on the rules of Basket Cube. Two teams, two teams, players each. You take on one of three positions. Defender, attacker, point jumper. If the game is being played during a full moon, the team sizes are doubled, but points are worth half their value. Unless the move faces an aggression, under which instance double points are now worth a set value to be determined by the day's position on the count. Points are scored by manipulating the back. Ahem. <clears throat> I think I know a thing or two about Basket Cube. Now get out of our way. Oh, well, of course. Go dunk some dingers. All right, champ. Go and sink some touchdowns. Remember, you're playing for the Defraggy Discs. That's the green team. Shoot for the purple hoop. We've needed ever since the Toronto Wheel quit. Keep practicing, kid. We'll get to the big leagues. Now, Scram, I got prize money to count. Shame. 
Those pesky research droids owed me a few Vic bucks. Anyway, welcome to the Acid Marshlands. The robots here spend most of their time harvesting acid for their battery production. Well, that's what they'll do until you two showed up. I hope you've been saving up your Vic bucks. I've got a brand new, upgradable Gatling laser that's sure to pack a punch. And that's a Spenly guarantee. Spenly guarantees don't actually cover anything at all, generally it'll be considered as a cheap locking tool. <laughs> Now remember you two, battle face you fool. Have fun! What's that you say? You need to get through this here door? Well, I'm not supposed to let strangers through. My morals are easily shaken, though, and that delicious looking treat up there has been teasing me for so long. You have morals? If you go get it, I'll let you through. Must be the new rookie they sent down from the station. Get over here. I need help with this stiff. And then we gotta find out who killed this guy. Hey, -o. Pipe down, rookie. I'm sure you hate a me. The crust, the crime bot. Anyway, here's the skinny. Nobody's entered or left this room since Trondo over here bit the bullet. How about you dig around for some clues and we'll try and crack this case? An oil-covered knife. I bet the poor mug was on the receiving end of this. My detective senses are telling me we're not done yet. Keep looking. Nice necktie. Yeah, the pipe probably looked pretty sharp wearing this. There's gotta be more leads in here. Keep searching. I still sense there's a clue around here somewhere, Maxi. I'll use my bear smell to sniff it out.
secret room? Only a pot with a secret would need a secret room. Oil Cola. Our mystery made up, I'd probably knock back a few of these after getting to work on this poor schmuck over here. Well, I think we have enough clues to finally crack this case. You just had to keep snooping, didn't you, kid? Curiosity got the better of you, and it led you down a rabbit hole you wish you never went down. You used your wit and intuition, and you ended up staring down the barrel of the one detective you thought you could trust. Sure, I killed the guy, but he had it coming. Jaywalkers always do. And now you'll be sharing his fate, and you'll never get the chance to squeal, neither. What a twist! Mates. Now, what brings you two together? A horrible accident. Oh, yeah, right. Well, what can I do for you? We're here to grab that battery. I'm meant to be watching it. I'll tell you what, if you beat me in this new game I've just invented, I'll watch you two take it away. Sounds fair to me. Nah, deal. Alrighty, get ready. Blue, green, red. Now you have a crack. Blue, green, red. Oh yeah, not bad. You've been practicing, I see. Red, blue, green, green. Now you have a crack. Red, blue, green, green. Oh, Struth, you've really improved since the last time. I'm proud of you. Now, for the final challenge. Red, blue, blue, red, green, blue, red, green, green, blue, red. Go home empty-handed. Go on, take the battery. Just bring it back when you're done. I know you two are good for it. Go all through. Hey, you 
it's you two. Long time no see. Gee whiz, you're never gonna believe this, but I'm hungry again. The city through there has what I want, but they won't let me in. Can you go get it for me? Well, if you would help me out again, here, go on ahead. I've got some creepy vibes about this place. How about you spend up big, just to be safe? No, Maxwell. Now is not the time.
Chill out, dudes. Your game has been saved. to alarm you, but I can smell honey just past that door. It's locked. We don't have time for this. Let me deal with it.
drink any more of my damn fine china! You. Will. Play! That's a damn fine guarantee! Okay, time to pay up. You cheapskate! Get him, fellas! <laughs> Slide this one time. Now scrail. All right, Maxie, something tells me that's the way we gotta go. I'm glad we decided to take the long way to the train station. to the newest industrial planet, affectionately known as the Industrial Planet. These robots have really gone wild terraforming this place. Yep, strip the resources completely dry. Anyway, I notice you've been struggling with some of the more troublesome bots. Well, do I have a treat for you. It's a Gamma Launcher! And this one's on the house, old buddy. Oh, uh, it's out of ammo. What a shame. Lucky for you, I have plenty in stock. Now spend! Oh, by the way, I've heard you two are looking for a way to get back to your home planet. Yeah, that sounds like something we should be doing. Well, you're heading in the right direction, but that's because there's only one way out of here. And that way is through the spooky castle up on the hill. You've probably seen it. I've seen a lot of things. 
was talking about. I knew that was the way we were meant to go. Us bears have great intuition, Maxi. Bear fact number 86. Careful to not wake it up, Max. Hmm, looks like that's the only way out of here. See if you can find a terminal to get the platform moving. Question to prove your permittance. The first circle robot to challenge the reverse clause was A. Delta Ray Robertson, 1. Robert DeToro, 0. Robbie Unitas, 4. Larry. Ha ha ha, you could not be more incorrect. Ten minutes until power-off sequence is complete. Really, Max? I knew that wasn't the right answer. Quick, look for a way to stop the countdown.
I'm not sure what you're doing. That did nothing. What were you thinking? Why didn't you just use this button? See? We can abort the sequence now. Startup timer aborted. Activation commencing now. Switches. Tap the item select button to quickly get it out and put it away. Don't forget, tap the item select button to quickly switch to and from the binary gun. Something tells me you're gonna need it. Some errands to run anyway. You go have fun. Pick up my keys. Now trying to steal his loot. Autonomous bots, roll them. Chip. Could you imagine a game that slow, Max? Could ya? Screw that. Chill out, dudes. Your game has been saved. Ha! 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 
family always told me, it doesn't matter if you live your life a quarter micron at a time. Winning is winning. The most important thing in life will always be winning this race right here, right now. We're racing for slips. First one around Death Mountain and back wins. Now get in your ride. Dear Vincent, he told me he was going for a drive, but I haven't seen him since. I'm still mad at him for selling our house to pay for that hot rod of his. And now the bank is threatening to repossess our children. I just hope wherever he is, he isn't living his life a quarter micron at a time. Chill out, dudes. Your game has been saved. Chill out, dudes. The game has been saved. Hey, buddy. You reckon you could hit record for me on the camera? Botsville, and this is the jumping into acid. And BT, have you heard the latest news? Extra, extra, I'll tell you all about it. Prevella, it's now the coolest thing in the galaxy. Max, BT, I need that hat. If we get you one, will you let us go through that doorway behind you? We're on our way to visit the castle. Propella hat. Chum, can I get you anything?
The sign says it's out of order. <laughs> Chill out, dudes. Your game has been saved. <laughs> wow. This view is certainly worth admiring. Really makes you think. Well, not me, because I'm a bear. But you enjoy those thoughts. and propeller hats for sale. That's a heavy coin, Maxie. Far too heavy to walk around with.
Hey, Max. BT. What the heck? We just got you that dang propeller hat you wanted. Get with the times, you two. Propeller hats are so lame now. Blue wigs are the hip thing. Beat it. I can't be seen with anyone who has a hat like that. Hell. Extra, extra, I'll tell you all about it. Blue wigs have been recalled. Pronto explosion. Right, row. I'm keeping the hat, Max.
Hey Max, BT. I was hoping I'd catch you two here. Listen, I gotta duck out for a bit, so if you need anything, buy up quick. But be warned. I'm not in a position to have my time wasted. For me, the mighty warden. Word of your terror has reached my ears. The time of your reckoning is now. Come forth and settle this like real fighters. That's how you want to play it, huh? How about I take you outside and show you what it's like? Now witness my true form. Signature for her, please. Just whip out that binary gun you've got and sign here. Special delivery for Bob that I need a signature for? Just sign with the buttery gun again. Ready for our two salmon breath?
piano hit the Cindy? No? Well, I'm not taking it back, so just sign with the binary gun, please. This time you'll learn. Gonna pay for all those deliveries. He's not dead yet. Oh well, better put this guy out of his misery. He can't pay me back in this condition. Just gonna aim my gamma launcher. Well, what do you know? Another pathway constructed by Vic Construction Incorporated. BTY LTD. Anyway, I need to go cash in the life insurance for this guy. So long. Oh, Max BT. You still owe me for those deliveries. Here you need some help getting out. Well, I know the way, but it'll cost you. Go find me a shiv, a cake, uh, some lockpicks, and, and leave them on the table. I'd start by going through one of those two doors. Uh, but that's just me, and I'm not on this fetch quest, champ. Now scram, kid.
commence! Well, I hope this letter finds you well and in good health. It has been too long since we last spoke. Our last dalliance may have been swift, but I remember it like it was yesterday. I have baked the cake you required. I hope it serves you well. Until we meet again, faithfully yours, Chef Bot. Go get him, champ. <laughs> to train more, Max. Max, that lid's on far too tight for a- Your bare foo is strong, but do you have the discipline to shatter a solid cardboard sheet? Step onto the mat and show me.
Impressive. You've earned this sacred white headband. Wear it with pride. Bots from all over will understand you train in the way of the claw. You're ready. Your next test of strength is through this door. Good luck. With your newfound strength, you can now open the secret jars with the white lids. Keep your eyes peeled for them. You may have come across a few on your adventures already. However, if you're playing this pre-launch, disregard everything I just said. It probably isn't set up yet. That's a tight jaw. We're not strong enough. Yet. And BT. Welcome to my secret emporium. Can I get you something? Oi, Rick, where's our ship? Cool, you jet, Steve. I'll go get it. It's just in the basement. I'll be with you in a moment, Max. the base. Oh, oh geez, what did you do to him, Maxwell? That was pretty uncalled for. I was just getting him the shiv they ordered in. Well, it's too much trouble taking it back downstairs. Who else is gonna need a shiv in prison? You better buy it off of me. Now get out of here before you tip off the guards and bring down my whole secret operation.
Thanks, Chomp. Watch your back out there. Just work. Come on in, fellow robot. Strangers, I'm hoping y'all can help me with a particular predicament I currently find myself in. See, the name is Whistling Pete. As you can tell, it's somewhat of an ironic name, considering the fact that I ain't got no lips, and therefore lack the ability to whistle. You find me a pair of lips, and I would consider myself one gratuitous son of a bot. That's time. Looking for wax lips. 
Well, I can't say I'm surprised, but I have some bad news. I accidentally dropped my last pair in that pool of acid just behind you. Maybe you could fish him out or something. Oh, well, Max, turns out I have a fishing license for sale. Now spend! Nice angling there, Maxwell. We'll have to get you on the pro tour. Ah, looks like you're not the train plug lips. Good for you. Hey, Max! I think they're the lips I was talking about. Yep, that's them. Since the last time I got roostered on prairie coal. With these lips of my bazoo, I can finally achieve my dream of becoming a world class whistler. Dudes, the game's been saved. Oi, he doesn't have a tail. Just called final bets. You want a piece of this action? Oh. 
Alright, buy-in's a thousand fig bucks, and your guy's up next! Welcome, sports fans, to our final match of the day. And the challenger is off and made the first square easily. He's hit the first triple box easily, too. Now just lining up this next jump, which is being a bit of a tricky one for it. Oh, no! Wide again! A costly mistake that's sure to cost him dearly. And now the reigning champ steps up to the plate as composed as ever and ready to bring this home for his team. We'd like to take a quick minute to thank our sponsors, Riggs Emporium. If you need a quick fix, just head to Riggs. Now he just needs to make it to the end to secure total... Oh my god! He's landed a 180 reversal on the second triple square! The crowd are loving this! Yeah, and a perfectly executed backwards leap to add to an unnecessarily humiliating victory over his opponent. Oh, rough luck, kid! Better luck next time! Dudes, your game has been sad. <laughs>
Lex. Boy, am I glad to see you. It's me, your old crewmate Theodore. Aw, yeah. That's what we were supposed to be doing. Finding your crew. After the horrid accident on our ship, these caring bots sent a rescue squad up to search for any survivors. They found me barely hanging on to life. Left with some options, they removed my brain and put me into this robot containment unit to save my life. When you awoke on the ship amongst all the chaos, you ended up shooting them first, and then second, and then proceeded to eradicate countless numbers of bots. These bots are all good bots. They want to bury this whole silly event and put it behind them, starting over fresh with a promise to help us get back to Earth. What do you say, Max? Killer, never trust a robot. <laughs> you from that space wreckage and how have you repaid my kindness by slaughtering countless numbers of my kind you hear that max that son of a butt is trying to threaten us well i say let's get our revenge on and kill him for destroying our spaceship and all those bears in space silence i will await you in my domain prepare to die no you prepare to die ah oh, he hung up this is gonna be exciting, Max! We have a new arch enemy! Now, let's get going! Hey you two, good to see you made your way out of that dank dark prison. Let me be the first to welcome you to New Butthaven, one of the oldest regions on this planet. There's a town just ahead worth checking out, although I must warn you, they've gone a little mad over some new fad. Now let's get down to some spending. Show me those Vic Bucks. Traveler, if it be true they wish to gain access, thou art are in for a pickle of a time. For you see, I seem to have misplaced the key to the gate in yonder woods. Uh, we don't have time for these key shenanigans. Stand aside, Max. 
I see from your radiant glow you have completed the quest and have gained access. Enter, double sire, and enjoy your visit to NPC Town. Hover bikes are so cool. I wish I had one. Oh, but have you seen the new hover bike? My wife died recently. I couldn't make it to the funeral. Oh, heck. I didn't expect to see you again. Let bygones be bygones. And enjoy your time at damn fine shooting. Get a high score and you'll get a reward. That's a damn fine guarantee. Enthusiasts, come on down. I may have a proposition to intrigue you with. I bet you pair after one of those fancy hover bikes everyone's going on about. Maybe we are. Who's asking? What? I am. Who else? Of course. Anyway, they're hard to come by being so popular, but I've got something you're gonna need if you're really serious about hover biking. We're listening. Go collect ten coins and bring them to me. I'll fix you up. I'm thinking about hover bikes. Yeah. I was gonna jump, but then I thought about hover bikes. Great view from here. What was for the hover bike action? on the loose. Here, take this. It should protect you. Don't tell anyone what it is. This is our little secret, capiche? Still not enough coins yet. Come back when you found...
10 coins. Let's... You've earned yourself a coin purse. With this, you can haul up to 20 coins. More than enough for two hover bikes. Oh, but what the heck is that? Why did I give Max that protective item? What the heck was I thinking? Ah, it's tearing off my arms! Now it's devouring my wires! My eyes! Chill out, dudes. Yep. Game has been saved. By ammo. Yep. This is where your journey ends. I will not let you pass unless you aid me. Bleh, let's just waste this, fool, Max. You could try, but it would be foolish. Unlike the other robots, I wasn't programmed with hit points. Crafty devil, always one step ahead. If you wish to proceed, you must cure me of my ailment. I am painfully bored. If I were to hear a joke worthy of a chuckle, I shall let you enter. I've heard tale of a joke so funny that it had to be separated into three parts. Luckily for you, 
Those parts were placed under a beam that points into the sky. Now, Galavant. Don't be stupid, Max, you dumb idiot. We need to bring this guy the joke parts he requested. my new secret location. As a reward, I got something for you. Yo, Rick, baby! You got that fresh oil I ordered in? Hey, Renega, I'll just go grab it now. Sorry, Max, I'll just be a second. Make sure they don't steal anything. Nice night, isn't it? I've heard enough. Get him. <laughs> Get a brand new, only used twice Magnus Wing. I hear it's all the rage. Now get out there, and if you see a floating magnet, aim at it and swing. Chill out, dudes. The game's been saved. Equip the right tool by looking at what you want to use it on and tapping the tool button. job. Turns out I was supposed to stop you from taking that battery. Well, they didn't tell me nothing, and I didn't tell them I'd listen anyway, so they can go and get stuffed. I've got a new job here as a receptionist. Now I'm guessing you want to have a crack at that bit of the try joke. Well, I can see you don't have a book in, but I'll cover for you, mate. Go on, before someone cracks it! Come on. 
back, clear out your desk, you're fired.
I wonder if that wall's repaired yet. Cause, uh, I think I've caught hoverbike fever! Oh, what? Great timing! The wall has been repaired! Now, if only I had a magnet swing, I could go up there and get a hoverbike! But I don't, and I'm also broke! I spent all my money on hoverbike trading cards! Gotta ride them all! Congratulations on visiting my hoverbike shop. Yes, we'd like one hoverbike, please. Unfortunately, I just gave my last one away to that bot. Sugar bro! Hey bro! Sugar! In hindsight, I probably should have ordered more than one. Especially with all the buzz around town. And I really shouldn't have just given that one away. If I had a wife, she'd probably leave me over this. But I already left her for hoverbikes. Max, 
Max PT. Those mad butters in their hoverbike jerk town wouldn't give me a permit to set up shop inside their walls. Huh? Now. Ah, oh, sweet stealth catapult. What's going on here? Some sort of loser training camp? Yes, but we also fix TVs. If you're interested in more than insulting us, these training dummies are nigh indestructible. Pfft, maybe for you. Out of my way. Let me show you how it's done. Whoa! What are you doing, you monster? That was lovable Kevin. That's the dummy. <laughs> my bad. Yeah, real tough training camp you're running here. That was merely the beginner, dummy. Do you truly think you're up to the high standards of the Metal Brethren? Then try your luck with the more advanced version over there. <laughs> Wise guy, eh? <laughs> Not so tough now, are you? Zip it, Buckethead. I'm just warming up. This may come as a surprise to you, Maxi, but cheating is definitely not beneath me. We gotta weaken this thing somehow. Termites here! Can't ride a hoverbike without termites! You pair look like you could use some termites! How about it? I will... Thanks! You won't regret it half as much as I do for opening this store! Such a tremendous display of skill and power. You are indeed a warrior worthy of the grand title of Cadet. Pfft, nah. Is there a prize or something for this, though? <sighs> yes. This would be a total waste of time if there wasn't.
Jeepers, we've hit the mother load. Browsing hard or hardly browsing? <laughs> Bugger me, that fella's trying to nick off with a piece of the try joke. Security. Yeah, what? That man bear, he just stole. Oh, mate, that's disappointing to hear. Oi, Steve. What? That man bear just tried to steal. Oh, mate, that's disappointing to hear. Oi, Frank. Uh, yeah? Oh, hey, you, Frank. Uh, yeah, I suppose they're coming. Leg it! Come with me if you want to live. One quarter micron at a time. Buckle up! This is gonna get swift! Chill out, dudes. Your game has been saved.
Old Man Bear. That's our sweet Luca. I'm not sure what you've heard about my butts and I, but I can assure you, we are all quite peeved. Merry butts, rough them up. See, that's the third piece of the joke. Now to get back to that big jerk and continue on our adventure. Yo, dog! Yo, dog! Need a lift back? I got you! I got you, dog! What a gentle butt. Return. Insert disc one. First piece of the joke inserted. Processing. The setup has been received. Insert disc two. This is the second part of the joke. Processing. The misdirection is acceptable. This is the third part of the joke. Processing. I've heard that one before. You may proceed. Finally, I get to meet the Terra from beyond. Max and BT themselves. Big fan. Have y'all come to join the Card Borgonites as we set out to destroy old robots? My ears are burning. Great. We have a common enemy in the chairman, so join up now and head to the front line. No need to sign anything. Just jump on into that log ride and I'll see you on the other side. Good luck, Private.
in advance. If you see any others pinned down, be sure to free them. Now let's show these rusty tin buckets what sort of couple we're made of. George! killing of robots has inspired the Cod Borgonites to rise up and to attack their century's old rivals, the robots. It's been an absolute massacre on both sides. Max, BT, I just want to say thank you. Business has never been better. Now buy a weapon, and for you, full price like usual. Chill out, dudes. Your game's been saved.
God, am I glad to see you, Max! Those 3D jerks have us pinned down, and my troops can't get through! We need your help! Normally, it'd be dangerous, but lucky for you, the bots are now on their lunch breaks. So why not take some much-needed you time and see the sights? Might I suggest stopping to wet your whistle at the Crater Chug House? Or mayhaps stop by JC's stall and grab some minty fresh delights? Or maybe jam some cubers? When you're done, meet me at the top. Oh, but am I jealous of all the good times you're about to have. Now charge! Exploring? Are you sure? Are you cockshop? Are you chicken sure? No more lollygagging! Okay, let's recap! We'll stay here and protect your six! Now charge! Game has been saved.
destroyed as we can always transfer your backup memory card to a new chassis boy it's great to be a robot Championship. The challengers have shown their faces and have bravely entered the arena. The sockets on them. We all know what the chairman wants. Let the fight begin. Bring out Alternator. I'm freaking Ryan.
the first champion has fallen. But this challenge has only just begun. While we set up the arena for the next fight, let's hear a few words from our sponsor. Captain Boats here, and I'm placing a collect call to all you Patriots listening to Endless. Do you have the rivets to accept the charges? You may have heard, but we robots are fighting on two war fronts. Not only are we still dealing with the man bear menace, but the Cardborganites have once again chosen to rise up against us to fight for their precious freedom. Now that's a price I can't afford to pay. Can you? Can you? Call now and you can enlist for only four easy payments of $99.95. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part. That's great to hear, but we need more and preferably more competent bots than these chumps. So call today and become tomorrow's scrap metal! Hey Max and BT, good show that. You know, while you were off battling, I had time to think more about this memory upload thing. Yeah, sure, it sounds great. If I was to die, my memory would be cloned and put into a brand new, state-of-the-art RefBot 3000 body. But what becomes of me, Kevin, the body and mind that existed before destruction? I would cease to exist, wouldn't I? I need to think more on this. Psst. Well, looky what we've got here. It's the soon-to-be champ. You've been doing well so far, but I've got a plan that'll make us both rich. You gotta take a dive. The odds on your win are through the roof, so if you lose, the payout will be huge. It'll be worth your while. What do you say? Get out of here, you bum! You're gonna lose anyway! Challengers have returned. Let the fight begin. Ring out Absolute Zero. There's no way out from here. Yeah, that was cool. <laughs> Radbots performing their patented pending stunts. And a great tribute to our bots overseas, fighting the cardboard minutes.
overestimated our contenders. But they better not get too comfortable. We save the biggest challenge for last. First, let's hear some more from our sponsor. safe. You need to be careful out there. When we die, we die, man. This whole cloning thing is one big conspiracy to control our population, man. Everything's a lie. Am I even Kevin? Kevin! Yeah, yeah. You go on alone. I'm gonna stay in here where it's safe. Our champions have been taken down, but can our challengers face three champions at once? Bring out Hard Hat, Caligula, and Deep Six. <laughs> Gonna be happy about this. with an offer to aid you on your journey back to Earth. <laughs> you just chicken, boogie boogie. You truly are a buffoon. Hey, I'm a bear, not a monkey, you idiot. Enough! I won't take this sitting down any longer. All right, Maxie, you got this guy. Give him heck. <laughs>
it, folks. Thanks for coming. We now have our new Rolling Butt Champions. The lucky contestants now get to claim their prize. What a fight that was. Our new champions now get to pick from one of three prizes. Tonight's wow. first prize is the DFW 1000 washing machine. With a 12 kilogram capacity, you'll never be left out to dry again. Also on offer is the complete Engelbot Humper Droid Collection. Three fantastic albums of beautiful ballads to brighten your day. Or will our champions choose their freedom and continue on their journey to get back home? They can only pick one. They'd better make it count. Do our champs have a take? Do our champs have a Hey, Max and BT. Bot have I got a great new item for you. A dial up on. It lets you get into doors like the one behind me. Let me explain how it works. <laughs> nah, I think we can handle this. That a girl. Now come grab it. I'm the house, of course, for my best customer.
Chill out, dudes. Your game has been sad. Well, look at that, Maxi. That's gotta be the train station that'll take us back to Earth. I'd almost forgotten what we were doing here. Choo choo, Mother Butter.
giant of a bot wore a demonic mask. Now they have all turned into demons. Demons, I tell you. There's only one chance to save us all. Quick, jump on and purge their CPUs of evil. <laughs> Fellow fairy enthusiast, welcome to the Bottleberry Ferry. I imagine you are pretty eager to get across this acid lake. I'd love to take you across, but I've misplaced my key. Maybe you could help me find it. No, we don't do keys. Ever. Oh, all right. It would just help speed things up, is all. Urge to eat honey rising. All right, all right. Cool your jets. I'll rummage around until I find them. I'll just make sure you cover me. Some real creepy bots around these parts. Now where could those gosh darn keys have gone? and BT had them on me the whole time. What a goof. Now let's ride. All right. 
Let's hop onto the Bottleberry Ferry and get out of here. BT, long time no see. I acquired myself some new prime real estate. Had to muscle out the last guy, but I made sure he was fairly compensated. You could say he had an early retirement. Yep, won't be hearing from him no more. I killed him, Max. Come in and spend.
chosen to roll upon the righteous path? Please step through here to proceed. <laughs> Chill out, dudes. Your game has been saved. <laughs> provided. Now follow me! Much to see! Ahem. At least two robot years ago, but no more than four, in a time when all robots were made of stone. A gigantic temple was constructed to house the two holy relics given by the robot gods, Scrapitus and Bouncitus. Lost to time, the temple was cared for by the sacred tour guides. Generation after generation, they were sworn to secrecy so that its holy relics could not be found and combined. For as we all know what happens if that event were ever to unfold. <laughs> <laughs> now behold this uncharted temple and progress to the next room. laser thingy. Give it a bit of a melee, I bet it'd move then.
one looks stuck too. What are the odds? Chill out, dudes. Your game has been saved. Hey, BT, you found me. And who's your friend? This is Max. Nice to meet you. I'm Nifo. I wish I had more to say, but this conversation is only here for that bad joke. Sacred chamber for an eternity. Must have been a real treat. Golly! Now carry on. Much to see. Bounce! 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 Bouncy! about this temple is that it was built by robots. Really makes you think. <laughs> <laughs> Chill out, dudes. Your game has been saved. Ahem. Welcome to the 
Hall of Champions! Taking a look around, there must have been some ancient budget cuts, because all the statues seem to look the same! <laughs> <laughs> now continue on! Much to see! I just felt a shockwave as if a million robots were all suddenly deactivated at once. Good. Good.
might be wondering, what's with all these lasers? I installed these lasers to stop temple robbers, and so far it's worked. Not a single other bot has rolled into this uncharted temple. But more importantly, I installed these lasers due to the fact they look so cool! LASER DANCE PARTY! BT, you found my new location. Now spend. And that concludes 
attention passengers, we regret to inform you that we are currently being held up by a couch on the tracks. Give me all your loot or I'll blast you! Alright, Maxie. You take the giant flying death fortress. I've got the couch. Deep brick! Cool. Wake me when you're done. You've had enough. <laughs> I need no bell. Ah, oh, there we go. Until next time, little lady. Attention passengers, we are pleased to inform you that the couch has moved on and we can resume our journey. Unfortunately, he has made off with a sizable portion of our safe holdings and has forced us into foreclosure. This will be our final service. Ah, buttsberries. Looks like it's time to dust off the old resume. Max, 
Jackson BT, you're getting close to the train station. It's just past that door behind me. Must be getting pretty excited to finally be heading back to Earth. Not really. Still a bunch of bots need their comeuppance. Oh, I understand. All too well. Did I ever tell you about my old business partner, Spindly? Nah. Good. Good. Now spend! Chill out, dudes. Your game has been saved.
your kid to work, ain't it? Dad! What? Ow! Oh! Ow! Oh, that hurts! Dad! Man, that kid's annoying. I bet he says we're gonna rue this one. You'll rue this day? I'll see you in the third DLC! Ha! <laughs> Called it. Attention all passengers. The carnival train is now arriving on platform two. That's nice, but we want the Earth train. Oh, sorry. My mistake. The Earth train has been delayed slightly and will arrive in 30 seconds. <sighs> I guess we'll go to the carnival then. Hold on, Max. Let me put my gravity paws on. Okay, that should stop us floating off into space. Let's suck him. Oh, well, the moon has gravity paws on, too.
Max and PT. You know you two got me fired after that last time I let you past. And it worked out great. I love working here at the Space Carnival. Ah, uh, you don't say. I probably shouldn't let you guys in without a ticket. Ah, uh, but I can't see any harm in it. Go on through, mates. I know you're good for it. together just stuck together but this looks fun how does it work you get five balls to dunk three butts do that and you could win a prize here's your balls now stand over there and throw them like a grenade best of luck to you Space Carnival. That's what. See the appeal! No, sorry. Didn't hear you come in. <clears throat> Just step right up and have a whack at the new and improved Whackabout. If y'all can score higher than 249 points, I'll give you an upgrade for that fancy armor ring you got there. Go on, give it a whirl. Your upgrade is over there. Go on, get it. With that upgrade, you should be able to take out some of the bigger bots like myself. Don't go getting any ideas, though. Alright, Maxie, you know the drill. We walk out of here like nothing happened. Are you ready to partake in a night of exciting action and high-flying thrills? Well, too bad. The show's not ready yet. Come back later. Why not pass the time by visiting some of our other attractions? I hear there's been some trouble at the old McBotley Mansion. 
Why not investigate yourself? If you dare! If you dare! We also offer a relax if you dare! We gotta get out of here! This retirement castle is haunted. Too haunted even for us, the Phantom Mersters. If you're going in there, watch out! There are ghosts everywhere! We tried to annoy them enough so that they'd up and leave, but we just not annoying enough! Just by looking at you two, I know you can get the job done! Let's just ditch our equipment and get the heck out of this place! Did they say there's a g-g-g-ghost? I'm too sc sc scared to go on, Maxwell. Like Zalcarino, man, I'm out of here too. Excuse me, you stood in my way long enough. 
You're ruining my acting time. Now I'm going to delete yours. <laughs>
wasn't scared before, by the way. I just had to meet a friend for lunch. a spectacle which truly can't be missed. You won't be able to process what your visual receptors capture. The terror has been captured! Warm up those hard drives. This is gonna be a night you don't no. wanna forget. Oi, 
a case of like. You're probably feeling a bit drowsy. You've been drunk with horse butt tranquilizer. So you're gonna move a bit slower, then you can't double jump. I am horse butt tranquilizer. Boss wants you to put on a good show tonight. You better not disappoint. Now get out there. Time the fighters will return to their corners. All right, champ, you're holding your own, but you're getting sloppy. Keep your head in the game and focus on the fight. Now, this is important. I've got a great opportunity for someone like you. I've got rights to a property in Dry Tona Beach. Now, normally, you couldn't afford a holiday year. But what if I said you and seven other people can share the rent and own your very own slice of paradise? This is a unique opportunity I'm offering here, and it won't be on the table forever. Think about what I said, champ. Go get him. Immaculate Strongo will break you now. <laughs> The judges' scores are in. Taking home the championship belt tonight, 
the Immaculate Strongo! The challenger has tested positive for performance enhancing horse spot tranquilizer and will be disqualified! Remember, folks, winners don't get caught using drugs. What a rip! Strongo is winner! BT, what were you doing in my storage room? Oh hey, I've got some new guns for sale. Probably a good time to spend. There's some odd things happening around here between your usual robot enemies and the native Gromians. Messy business, that. And it's about to get messier. Isn't that right, you pair of psychos? Haha! <laughs> <laughs> well, they just kinda get in their way, you know? Haha, <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Now spend! Bring me wired, Steve. He's falling asleep again. Fingers out the only thing you can count on around here. We'll save them. Legend. 
Now head down that way and eventually you'll get there. I'll be waiting here. Don't bother coming back to visit me. I got nothing else to say. Yeah, what? Electronic 600 with a solid Robotanium pressed alloy body, a drop forged rust proof shackle, and an anti bearing double ricochet fastener. What I'm trying to say, Maxi, is there's no way we can break this lock open. We need to find another way. We're trying to starve us to death. If you have time, there's more of us inside to save. Anyway, we're gonna teleport back home now. Make sure you stop in for a visit after you're done doing whatever it is you two do. Now look away. We get stage fright and can't teleport if you're looking at us. 
Sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. Magic! Oi, mate. You just let all those crims out before they finish their reps. That's really disappointing to hear. I'm going to have to go trigger the alarm now.
self-destruct sequence activated. You have 72 hours to evacuate. Oh yeah, that sounds pretty reasonable. All right, everybody, let's pack up and go. No need to rush. Orderly manner, please. Chill out, dudes. The game's been saved. <laughs>
Chill out, kids. The game has been saved. Chickens are coming home to roost. Precisely. Brace yourself.
Professor Buck finally defeated, my family can rest in peace. You know not what you have helped achieve today, but I thank you. I must return to my village. It is time to rebuild. I'll see you again, brave warrior. This I know to be true. Coming through! Oh, dizzy. Fear not, I am unscathed. Backing up! <laughs> First my window was smashed by some hoodlums. Now I've got a scuff mark on my toe bar. Could this day get any worse? Anyway, always a pleasure to see you two. Take care now. You too, Vic. See my little chickens. How's everyone doing today? No! My chickens! My farm! What have you done? Dudes, your game has been saved.
Zero, 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 zero. Hey, Max, have you seen that new Bot Crows movie? It's pretty good. again for rescuing us from that fat camp. Those robot jerks sure have some loose balls.
killed too. I'd heard you were on a quest back to Earth. We can help you with that. You can take out candy rockets and blast off to the spaceport located on the outskirts. If you reach the honey factory, you know you've gone too far and have to turn back. Honey factory, got it. Now, before you go, I'd like you to witness our most sacred relic. The sacred heat ray. It warms up all our yummy treats. No touch, only luck. A pretty neat right? No touch the sacred heat ray. They've desecrated our god! Kill them! Kill them!
Max, BT, good to see you, mates. Yeah, I got fired from the carnival for giving out too many free tickets. But between you and me, it felt more like a space theme park anyway. But anywho, are you here for the Honey Factory tour? Yes, yes we are. Great! Now between you and me, a private tour normally costs three gigazillion Vic bucks. But I know you two are good for it, so head on through the door behind me. But I gotta warn you. <clears throat> to buckle up for a tour of a lifetime, where fun meets education. Let the learning begin. Open the door for the tourists. All right, now get in there. Hey, Max, I just want to say I really appreciate you taking the time to stop at the honey factory for me. There am I excited. I can taste all the honey fla- What the heck is this? I'm Hyvie, and I'll be your guide to Information Town. Welcome to the Pipe Zone. Here we pump all sorts of things. Oil, acid, waste. You'll see more of me around. Press the button and find out some fun Honey Factory facts. Ew! Behold! Behind me sits a container for containing liquids. We have no idea what's in it. Would you like to have a guess to what is inside? No point. I just said I don't know what's inside. Exciting! Are you ready to see more? I know I am! This way for more exciting edutainment! I'm bored! like it throughout your tour. Can you count them all? I know I won't. <laughs> Did you know that robots built this place? This way for more exciting edutainment. Why is the 
window, honey. This is the Imaginatarium. Here, our researchers spend all their hours imagining all sorts of things. From honey to honey-related products. Sometimes I wish we could crack open these eggheads' brains and see how they think. But then I think of the cleanup that would be required. And, well, I kinda lose interest. Did you know that computers compute? Onward to discover more! Max, this sucks! Bored. Welcome to our refining area, a favorite among our tourists. Here we see how the jars of honey are made. What a treat! <laughs> Max, I'm so sorry, but this is really boring. I'm not sure what I was expecting, but it wasn't this. I thought maybe at the very least it would have some educational stuff. But to not get to taste any? I'm at a loss for words, Max. Truly out of words. Not a single word left to say on the matter. Nothing. Sorry, Max. I can't go on any further. It's just too boring. You go on without me. I'm staying here. to the Honey Hill Zone. Before you is our newest mixture, Super Honey. Four times the power, seven times the calories. Uh, what did I miss?
my ankles. Oh. Bye. Chill out, dudes. Your game has been saved. Initiate protocol. Kill dead.
new killer! We gotta stop it! Captain's Blog. I find myself injured and alone. My companion, Bertana, nowhere to be seen. I've lost my weapons, just out of reach. The injuries to my legs prevent me from jumping to reach them. I'm left with no weapons of a conventional sense. I need to find my way out of here. Captain's Blog. This may be my last entry. I've been wandering for what seems like hours. All hope is lost. If I don't find some water soon, I'm in danger of becoming a little thirsty. <laughs> Captain's blog. A strange beast stands before me. Clearly it has malicious intent. If a test of pugilistic strength is what this thing wants, then it best prepare for disappointment. Or if this creature shares anything in common with humanity, it probably won't like rocks being thrown at it. One way or the other, it's clobber in time. skills will only get me so far. I need to assemble a weapon to truly defeat this monster. Scouring the environment for supplies is my only way forward. My captain's sense is telling me what I seek is entombed here. Now to find a way through. Destructive tools, the folly of mankind. Eternally destroying our environment for the sake of destruction. This ought to blow them rocks up good. Just what I need. This should provide some extra firepower. How can a beast have such immeasurable strength? The beast is not alone. I need to keep fighting. safe. Will it contain something to craft a weapon with? If only it weren't obviously locked. useless on its own, but it could conceivably still be integrated into a make Quasic. The beast does not relent. I will keep fighting.
The final piece of the puzzle. Time to assemble a weapon and finally defeat this monster. is complete. Time to boldly kill what no man has killed before. In the end, were we really that different? I can't conceive needing a weapon of such destruction at all in the near future. It would be pointless to bring it with me. Time to continue on this lonely road. There's no sidestepping this situation. I have to press on. to know a bear who would kill for some honey. Bertana, where are you? I must press on. Captain's blog, I've located a long abandoned vehicle, though it appears to be out of fuel. I must press on. Free fuel! Only a hundred Vic Bucks. Distractions at every turn attempt to draw me into a backward spiral. Dang, I really thought I had a customer. I decided it was best to press on. I should have listened to Motherbot. This is a terrible place for a shop. There's only one option left. Guess I've got to earn that life insurance. Gonna be three more at the orphanage tonight. Captain's blog. I've encountered yet another deserted vehicle. This one with the keys in the ignition. With this stroke of good fortune, I can continue my mission to find Bertana. Captain's blog. After a brief time, I decided it was best to continue the rest of the journey on foot. Wherever you are, Bertana, I'm coming to save you. Distance, a building looms, yet makes no weave. Could Bertana be there? No idea, Max, but uh, this is my stop. Good luck, old friend. I must press on. doing? You were sleeping like a baby, so I thought I'd check out some of the local sites. By the way, you left your guns behind, you silly goose. I picked them up for you. All right, let me quickly piggyback on your back again, and let's get out of here.
Hey Max! Hey BT! How you doing, mates? Welcome to Whistling Pete's 37th Franchise Store, where lips are for kissing. Off to see the big boss? Yep. You wanna kill him? Probably. Yeah, I thought as much. Now this is the last time I'll probably get to see yous, so best of luck with what's ahead, mates. I'm sure Whistling Pete would say the same, but he's off with the pixies. Anyways, I'll leave you to it. I'm sure you're busy getting ready. You have journeyed far and wide, my friends. And I am proud to say that out of all the apprentices I have had, you were certainly one of them. And they can never take that away from you! Now go! And don't ever look back! Hey Max, BT! Welcome to the Adequate Bar! It's this new franchise model I'm trying out. Basically, these chumps pay me to sell my product. It's a win-win for old Vic. I don't know, Vic. Looks kinda tacky to me. That's the point. Genius. Now, this will be the very last time you see me. You know, you've been my favorite customer. And really, none of this would be possible without the continued patronage of you two. So do me this one last favor. For an old friend. For me, old Vic. Oh, Vic Spedley! Oh, Vincent Spendalton the Third! Spend. Welcome to the Adequate Bar. It's been your pleasure.
Mother Butter, we've got you surrounded. Nowhere to run, hot shot. Your luck just ran out, amigo. End of the line, pal. Dang, Max, looks like this is the end of our adventure together. It's been an honor killing everything with you. Shutting down! This is... The end of the 
goes on? <laughs> this isn't fair. You're too handsome to die. Goodbye, Bertana. No! Your ruin has just begun. I'll see you in the third DLC. For real this time. I'll avenge you. Someday. If I have time. Chill out, dudes. Game's been saved.
the bridges and gates. It's an honor to be in your command again, sir. We need you to keep the enemy off the siege machine. Now jump! said earlier to be the last time you saw me, but I just couldn't let you stumble into what lies ahead. Knowing that you still had some Vic bucks on you, so why not spend up one last time for old Vic?
What a long elevator ride. Hey, look, no line. Yo, two tickets to Earth. Certainly. Coach or first class? As if you had to ask. Come on. Coach, please. Boarding has begun. Please enjoy your flight. And on the way, grab yourself a complimentary health and ammo refill. You are very beautiful. That'll be 5,000 big bucks. I don't think so, pal. Here's our seat. Guess this means we're going back to Earth. You to retirement, me back to jail. But we had fun, hey, Maxie? I'm gonna miss it. Now to enjoy the long trip home. I'm gonna be listening to my podcast. Please don't disturb me, Max. Uh, what is going on? We haven't moved an inch in hours. Feels like we're driving around in circles. I need some air. Let's get up and see what the holdup is. Although, I don't think there's any breathable air in space. There isn't, but there's a bear in space! <laughs> Shut up. Ah well, at any rate, it hasn't been an issue so far. Oh yeah, that's the good stuff. My legs needed this. Just as I suspected. Gridlock. There's gotta be a better way. Someone needs to do something about all this traffic. Uh, maybe this guy will help. Traffic jam detected. Solution. Remove traffic. All pedestrians must leave the area. Beginning removal of pedestrians. That's how it's gonna be, huh? It's go time, Max. <laughs> Ooh. Mm -hmm. 
get me in this thing. You need to listen to me. This whole thing has been a mistake. Really? After you left me for dead on the spaceship, I thought I was a goner. But these friendly robots gave me a second chance in life. They may be the top scientist. It doesn't have to be this way. I forgive you. Oh uh, yeah? Well, I never apologized. <laughs> Finish this final boss off. Firebird! Coco the Barian! Bennett! Kansas Stranger! What a crazy bunch of bears in space! Huh? No! That was a really nice bus you just blew up! Well, that's it. We finally achieved my dreams of killing that guy. Guess there's nothing stopping us from finally going back to Earth. <coughs> now, just what is this? It's been going off ever since we crash landed. Ah, it's some sort of distress signal transponder. Someone's been trying to contact us. Guess it was on vibrate. Do you read me? Captain Maxwell Adams, can you hear us? It's for you, Max. This is Admiral Chad Turbo of the SS Bovine. We detected cataclysmic signals coming from your ship a few days ago. Now that you've answered, we can finally locate you and begin the rescue mission of you and your crew. They'll have to take a partial victory in this case. Sit tight and watch the skies. Rescue is here. Climb aboard! You're going home. Hey, Max. Do you really want to go home and wait out the rest of your days, weeks, and tops in some stinky retirement home? No. Yeah, that's what I thought. Hey, jerks! See you in heck! <sighs> There's still robots out there to destroy and honey to consume. What do you say, old friend? Shall we go on another zany adventure? Time to continue the rest of the journey. Where do you want to go? In the distance. Sounds good to me. Sit tight and watch the skies. Rescue is here. <laughs> 